we, we talk about the prioritization piece a little bit and, and tools and recommendation around how do you prioritize those features and, and, and then maybe perhaps the next step is and then how do you visualize and communicate that back to I would assume the rest of the team, the rest of the org, the executives, is, is that a good exactly. question? Anybody who wants to take that question first? Uh, I'll start. I'll, the way I think about it is there's maybe five steps to this. First is the business, then there's the value, uh, there's the customer, there's the technology, and then you get the road mapping, which is the process. So I like to start with the business and the value because that helps to prioritize things. First, starting with the business, understand what is your business vision and what are its objectives or goals over the next five years. That helps inform some roadmap strategies and implementation. Second is the, the value, and that deals with the customer. So it's important to understand, I think, uh, the value chain of your customer. Because from your value chain, you can build out your value proposition which will help you prioritize well, what's important for your customer. So at a very high level, you know, that value proposition says who your customer is. What problem are you going to solve for them? Okay. Who's your competition in solving that problem and what do you differentiate yourself on? Okay. Those are the things that I use to prioritize. So those those are my comments to prioritize and we can talk about how I get the roadmap eventually. So, so are you currently planning on a five-year roadmap? Well, actually, at our, our my current company they plan three. Yeah. How long it take you to get there? To to a three-year. To a three-year. Uh, it probably took them five years to evolve from where they were in a startup mode to where we are today, which is a pretty small company still. Right. That's it. I, I might as well. Um, everywhere I've ever been as a product manager, I think the key to addressing your challenge is you have to get cross functional buy in, executive buy in. You can't have, I've, I've been sabotaged by the engineering department, I've been sabotaged by marketing. I think I see other people nodding along. You've got to call them into a room and hold their feet to the fire and say, what's really the priority? Um, I'm not hearing that that's something you can affect. I'm hearing that's something that you're perhaps a victim of. Oh, that's, no, that's something that I do. Okay. So and then, that's, that's my struggle. Then you got to drive it. I'm coming from the IT side, and I'm saying, listen, unless you can prioritize this stuff, I don't have enough resources to cover all of these projects. And that's fair. So you have to hold their feet to the fire. You have to get them in a room, and you got to rank it, you got to scorecard it, whatever it's going to take, and you got to hold them to it. Well, what we do to be a able couple to, discussion. What we do to help prioritize that is product managers. We go up and we go on the board and we write out. We do post it, the good old fashioned post it, and whiteboards, just to get our thoughts on. You know, what are the primary concerns or problems we're trying to address? We group them together, we identify the themes, we put it all together. But we're also very cognizant of the strategic goals of the organization. So across the top, we've got these three different colors that say this is the strategy, this one, and this one. Once we get down and we put down what we think are the top items we want to do, what's above the line, what's below the line, we prioritize it, what we think from the customer's perspective, then we go back and we start mapping it against those strategies. Strategies. And if it doesn't map to a strategy, if we can't align it, then we get it goes below the line and we'll figure it out later. But we really make sure that, and when we build our roadmap, we do, you know, we're talking about that and what tools we use. We just find out use a PowerPoint presentation. Every item is um, sequential on, you know, what their priority is. And then we put on there which strategy is it, does it align with. And if there's no thoughts on there that indicate which strategy it aligns with, it comes off. And that's how we also make sure the business is, is aligned. So you're completely aligned to themes. Yes, yes. We take the problems, we organize it by you know the the um, the priority that we think it belongs in, and then map it against the strategy. And then we have alignment of the customer problem that priority and the strategy. And it's very hard for the business to or any other um, stakeholder to really argue with that because we're showing that this is the strategy of the organization and why we should do it. I, I think it's easy too, and one of the things I'm hearing uh, all three of you talk about is organizational strategy. So product strategy doesn't exist in a vacuum. It has to be embedded in the organization strategy, and those are very different. 
And for, like, we're a small technology company, we have 200 employees, and so, um, you know, it's easy to say, hey, come up with the product strategy, and then, you know, the executive team can either say that, and you can do that, or you can say, well, what's the organizational strategy that we're driving to, and how do each of these pro projects or new product lines or products fit within that organizational strategy, and then you can get your executive or cross-functional team to have some buy-in of, okay, now let's place these and which of these is the, the most important and is this actually gonna fulfill that that need? And then you can go down and kind of map out, okay, here's, and then there's still some juggling, right? Because you actually have to look at the resources you have and when they'll be available and I can do this now. And, um, you know, that's a conversation I've had with my VP of sales of, you want this this new uh, sales tool before this other sales tool, but hey, I can actually deliver them. I can either push them both out or I can deliver the lower priority one first and then the higher priority because of how our resourcing aligns. And so, you know, that's a conversation that's, you know, it's not in a vacuum, but it, a lot of times I think product managers are asked to present it and then we'll, we'll run with it. So.